Hey, this is Luke from Craft Holsters and you're watching our how-to guide to shoulder holsters. Today you will learn how to choose the right hand of the shoulder holster, put it on properly and adjust the harness to ensure a perfect fit. The hand choice is a really easy one. If you draw with your right hand, choose a right-handed holster. And if you draw with your left hand, choose a left-handed holster. The holster will always sit on your non-draw hand and you will draw with your dominant hand across your body. For example, I'm a right-handed person and I draw with my right hand. The holster always sits under my left arm. And now let's check out how to put on the rig. So let's say you ordered a right-handed shoulder holster. Place the holster part under your non-draw arm. Insert the non-draw arm inside of the harness in a way that the holster opening is facing in the correct direction, that means outwards, for you to insert your handgun inside. Now put on the other part of the harness just as you would put on a shirt. Be sure that the harness is not twisted or upside down. If your rig does not have a counterbalance and has only an elastic strap, just put on the strap as you would put on a shirt and check for twists and upside downs. The harness should not look like this. The harness should look like this. The back part of the harness should look like this. Bonus tip! If you are able to put on the harness this way, be sure to do so as it saves a lot of time. The first step is to grab the harness as you see here. And the second step is to put both hands inside and put the harness over your head. Now that you know how to put on your harness, let's talk about big guys. Our harnesses can be adjusted up to extra large sizes. That means 47 inches chest circumference and 23 inches top shoulder to waistline. We can make your harness larger, but we need two information from you. One is your chest circumference and the other is your top shoulder to waistline length. So let's find out how to measure them properly. Take your measurements with a tape measure. Measure your chest circumference and measure your top shoulder to waistline length. From here to here. Write them down and send them to us with your order. Your harness will be then made according to your measurements. And last but not least, let's get to harness adjustment. You will need a couple of tools and our harness. Untie the screws of the harness. Adjust the harness according to your needs. Please note that the length of the harness on the holster side may or may not be the same as your counterbalance part. Adjust them both so you can draw and reach for your spare ammo easily. Once you've found the right length, be sure that the rig does not obstruct your movement. Try to draw a couple of times just as you would with dry fire practice. This helps to get the feeling of the holster position. If you need a belt tie down, use it. If you feel like you don't need it, then don't use it. Now that your harness is well adjusted, you should have no problem carrying it all day. So, I hope this video answered all your questions and you can get your hands on a custom shoulder rig. Or contact us if you still need more information. And also, check out craftholsters.com and browse our selection of custom-made holsters.